Hi, this is Amanda Frankel with Our Crafty Playdate. Many of you lately have been purchasing these things called bow makers. I don't know how well you can see that there, but I think you'll get an idea. Uh, it's got pegs here that are actually repositionable, and you would change them due to the, the thickness, the width of your ribbon. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make bows with them today, and... Uh, because many of you have asked. So here we go. So I am first starting with just a quarter inch piece of ribbon. Because this ribbon isn't particularly wide, I'm gonna keep them relatively close together. What you're gonna do is start with your spool on your right. If you're right-handed, keep it on your right and start with your ribbon running behind the uh, sticks here. You're gonna wrap it around, go over them here like this. Can you see that? You're gonna tuck it down between their legs like this, you're gonna bring it over the middle to the back. So I just came from between the legs here, over to the back, pull this one to the back, and I'm just gonna tie it. And you don't have to do a big knot here, as a matter of fact, you don't want to, it just adds bulk. So when you pull it, what's important here is don't twist these, don't have them sideways, have them full on front facing you, and pull them straight out from the ears. I call these the ears. Your opportunity to really adjust this bow is now, okay? If your knot is really to one side, you can see how I've got it really to one side there, you just adjust by pulling it to the side you want it to move to until so you have the, the uh, knots in the middle. Once you're done here, you slide it off, and then you have a perfectly tied little bow. Um, you can do the same thing with a fork, but then your bow is going to be particularly small. Uh, I want to show you how to do this also with something as thin as baker's twine. You can leave the sticks this thickness when you're using baker's twine. You just want to wrap maybe more than once to give a different look. So, And you can do this, by the way, with the other ribbon also, um, but you have to be careful with how full your bow is going to get to see if it's actually going to fit on your card. Again, I've got my whole container here on my right, and I'm going to hold my right hand still. I'm going to wrap it around. And normally here is where I would go down in between the legs, but I'm gonna go around a couple of times. So I'm gonna go around, that's two, that's three. Now I'm gonna go down in between the legs. I'm gonna use my other fingers here to help me. So I went between the legs here, this hand still here, going over the top, pulling to the back, and then I'm going to tie it. I left that very short, but you're gonna get the idea. I'm gonna tie it again. I'm pulling straight out to the side from the ears getting the knot where I think it's in the middle, giving it a really firm tug. You can be bossy here, so go ahead and be bossy. Cut that off and slide your bow off. What this kind of bow will be is one with little extra ears here. So let me fluff that out for you so you can see. Ooh, that's a close up of my hand. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. And there's a very fluffy little bow, which would be adorable on a card especially a baby card, something like that. All right, I don't, Stampin' Up! doesn't carry these. Um, I do have a customer whose husband has been gracious enough to make a bunch of them for me. And so we do have some available. Um, I am actually not making a profit on these. So it's just something that I have here in my house for my people who take classes. If you would like to purchase one, if you want to email me at craftyplaydate at gmail.com, I will uh, let my customer's husband know and he will make you one. Right now these are metal, but he actually can also make them using wood dowels like this. And these are also repositionable just the same way. Um, this big wide area like this would be a big wide Christmas bow, maybe a really thick two and a half inch thick thing. And that would be a great bow for even a hair, a hair bow for a little girl. All right, thank you very much and thanks for stopping by.